Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about pivot tables and in particular the formatting of cells within pivot tables. There's a very frustrating thing when you change the uh, formatting of cells, say to currency, and then you make any changes to the pivot table, that currency disappears or that formatting changes. Really, really frustrating, but a really easy fix. So let's get started. And if you like what you see, please click that like button or subscribe to the channel, it'll be really handy. So very simply, we've got the data table here, the pivot table based from our motor vehicles sales set. Now I've simply pulled over the product type into the rows. I have brought in the quantity of vehicles and also the value of, or the total value of those um, vehicles. And like I showed you before, all I want to do is change the value into currency, a very common um, step people would make. And the mistake most people would make would be to highlight the cells, go up into the format, change it to currency. It looks great to start with, but as soon as you make any changes to this pivot table, for example, taking out the product type and bringing in the color, that currency has disappeared. Now the best way to fix this and the most simplest way to keep that formatting to stick is instead of highlighting within the pivot table, we'll go over to the field sections on the right hand side and there'll be a little down arrow next to that sum of value. I'm going to click that down arrow, go to value field settings and within the pop-up you'll see on the bottom left there is a number format. You'll click that and you'll change it to whatever you like. In this instance, we'll change it to a currency. We'll take out some decimal points, press OK and press OK again. And just like before, we've got the currency for the value and the quantity stays the same. However, in this instance, it doesn't matter what you do to the pivot table, drag in product, take out color, the value stays the same with the currency and the dollar sign. Take out product, add in full name, and again, that's the name of the salesperson, and it stayed the same with the value with the currency. Hope that helps. Hope it's not too frustrating anymore. Please subscribe. See you next time.